Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a review of the Hermes jumping boots. Now, these are quite the investment, which is why I really wanted to share my thoughts on these boots now that I have worn them maybe like a dozen times in the last few months. So we're going to be going through it all. Sizing, pricing, comfort, quality, wear and tear, absolutely everything. So let's start. Okay, so basics first. Size. My personal experience with the shoe category with Hermes is a little bit tricky because I have, I think, three different types of shoes from Hermes and every single pair has a different size. So I am normally a size 40 and I got these boots in a size 40. So Zara, H&M from High Street to Fendi, Gucci, Dior, I am always a 40. And in these boots, I am also a 40. However, in Orans, I am sizing up half a size or a full size. I can't remember. I think I need to size up a full size. And with the Hermes dad sandals, I have to size up two sizes. But I actually believe that this is the first pair of shoes from Hermes that is true to size, at least for me. As regards to the size, I feel like there are a few more things that are worth mentioning. So the boot itself is quite narrow. So be careful if you have wide feet. I wouldn't call my feet wide feet or narrow. I think that they are somewhere in the middle and they're okay. But I can feel that if my feet were wider, they would be quite uncomfortable. So wide feet, be careful. And the other thing that is definitely worth mentioning is that these are not made for thick calves. And as you can see, there is no opening, there is no zip, no nothing. So you basically put your leg inside and then you take it out. And let me tell you that I don't think that I have thick calves, but it's also much easier to put them on than it is to take them off. Next up, let's talk about the price. Whew, the price of these boots is a whooping 2,000 euros. So that is a crazy amount of money to pay for a pair of boots but the one thing that i have noticed is that these are quite popular on the pre-loved market and they cost something like maybe 25 percent of the retail price it may take you some time to hunt them down brand new in your size on the pre-loved market but i think that it's definitely possible you just have to be patient okay so now let's quickly talk about the quality of these boots and they are made of this shiny smooth calfskin leather which is absolutely gorgeous i was initially very scared that they are going to scratch like crazy but i'm actually very impressed because there are a few scratches i'm going to show them later on but nothing really that significant you can really feel that hermes craftsmanship in these boots so in my opinion the quality of the leather is absolutely incredible okay and now let's talk about the wear and tear of these boots and the first thing that comes to my mind is the creasing. So when I first bought them, they were very structured, but because we cannot walk without obviously moving our ankles, they are going to crease. So if you're looking for that one pair of structured leather boots, this is not it because they are inevitably going to crease. This is what mine look like. I don't know how much more they are going to crease, but I personally love the look of them right now because they are much more casual looking than they were in the beginning. On the first day I wore them, I actually tried to kind of 
crease them um, on purpose because in that way they are much more comfortable to wear. So it was a win-win situation for me because they became much less um, formal looking and they also became much more comfortable. Now let's take a look at the sole. So the front looks like this. It's a little bit fuzzy. I don't know if you can see, but just a little bit of fuzz at the bottom of the front. But the sole itself looks like this. There is a little bit of wear and tear, nothing crazy. Here you can also see the front better and it's not that bad but where you can really see the wear and tear is the heel part of the boots so here we can already yep here they are the little silver nails so you can already see that they are showing off so i will definitely have to take them to the cobbler to I don't know, not change the sole or put an extra layer on them before I wear them out completely. And I almost forgot as regards to the scratches. The only scratches I have are on the inside over here and over here. They are barely noticeable. You see them right now because I have the ring light and it's super, super bright and the leather is shiny so you can notice them. But in real life, you cannot notice them. So that is really such a pleasant surprise that the leather does not scratch easily. Look at that, nothing, not a single scratch. So that is really very positive. Okay, and now to the million dollar question, are they comfortable? So the first time I wore them, um, as I mentioned before, they are quite narrow. So they nearly killed my little toes. So be careful the first time you wear them. Don't wear them for a long period of time. Don't wear them for the first time if you know you're going to be out all day because it's going to be painful. It was a little bit painful for me. So I got a little bit scared. I got a little bit worried that they are not going to be comfortable. However, the second time that I wore them, they were actually comfortable. I didn't wear them for as long because I was scared that it's going to happen again and my feet are going to die in these boots, but nothing like that, not a single bruise. So everything went well. Then I once wore them for a whole day out and again, not a single blister, not a single bruise everything was good. And then I also wore them once when I went out for dinner and kind of accidentally ended up dancing all night. <laughs> and yes, I was wearing these boots. It was an accident. Um, yeah, when dinner plans turned out a little bit more fun than they were planned. But my point is I was dancing in these boots all day, ops, all night, not all day, all night. And um, the next day I woke up and my feet were absolutely fine. Even when I got home, my feet were absolutely fine. So I think that they do have that breaking period, but it's leather, it will stretch. So if the first time that you wear them, you think that you've made a mistake, give them a second try, a third try, because I'm pretty sure that unless you have very wide feet or very thick calves, you'll be able to wear them in. And right now they are actually quite comfortable. I'm very impressed. So I would give them maybe like an eight out of 10 in comfort. So that's, that's very high. Okay. And finally, do I recommend getting these boots? And when I think about these boots, if they're worth the money, for some reason, I keep thinking of the Dyson Airwrap. And I think it's because it also has that very high price point and it also has a lot of great alternatives. But at the same time, the Dyson Airwrap is the Dyson Airwrap. And I think that it kind of also applies in a way for these boots as well, because 
there are so 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 many other great alternatives to these boots and so i would say that it really depends on you if they are worth getting for you because if you can find an alternative to these boots and after you buy them you're not going to want this pair of boots anymore then i would say that they are not worth it for you but if you buy an alternative to these boots and you still want these boots in that case these boots are definitely worth it because I know, I know, the price tag is absolutely crazy, but they are very classic. You can wear them every year. They would never, ever go out of style. They are also very easy to style, so I think that they are worth the money, and at least they have been for me. So I'm very happy that I got them because they are just what I wanted and i'm also happy that they turned out to be comfortable so yeah i would say that for me a hundred percent worth it okay guys so that's it for my video today i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i do love talking about fashion so let's stay in touch and i'll see you in my next video bye guys stay safe